हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे वी बिगिन्स विथ द बॉडी फ्लूड कंपार्टमेंट्स बॉडी वॉटर टोटल बॉडी वॉटर इज फोर्टी टू लीटर विच इज द सिक्सटी परसेंटेज ऑफ द बॉडी वेट एंड इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू इंट्रा सेल्युलर फ्लूड विच इज अराउंड ट्वेंटी एट लीटर एंड फोर्टी परसेंटेज ऑफ बॉडी वेट एंड एक्स्ट्रा सेल्युलर फ्लूड ऑफ फोर्टीन लीटर और द ट्वेंटी परसेंटेज ऑफ द बॉडी वेट In the fourteen liter of the extracellular fluid, we include the three liter of plasma, which is one fourth of the extracellular fluid, and eleven liter or the three fourth of the extracellular fluid, which is the interstitial fluid. The transcellular fluid is around one to two liter, and uh, it covers CSF, which is the cerebrospinal fluid, aqueous and vitreous humor. plural and pericardial fluids so this is the body water total body water is around 42 liters or 60 percentage of the body weight which is in the intracellular compartment and extracellular compartment and it is the intracellular fluid and extracellular fluid extracellular fluid is mainly present or mainly covers the plasma and interstitial fluid distribution of body water total body mass out of this total body mass in male 40 percentage are, are the solids and 60 percentage are the fluids and out of total body mass in female 45 percentage are solids and 55 percentage of fluids here we are considering 60 percentage fluid and how we divide this so out of this 60 percentage fluid two third is the intracellular fluid or icf and uh, one third it is the extracellular fluid which is the ecf inside the extracellular fluid we cover the 80 percentage of the interstitial fluid and 20 percentage of the plasma plasma which is running inside the blood capillaries and interstitial fluid is present in between the cells and these both are considered as extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid these are the fluid which are present inside the cell so this is the distribution of the body water now which cations or which anions are more present in the extracellular fluid and in the intracellular fluid so in the extracellular fluid higher amount of the sodium and chlorine ions are present where in the intracellular fluid there is a higher amount of potassium ion is present as well in the anion section phosphate and organic anions so these are four are the major cations and anions which are present highly in the extracellular or in the intracellular compartment common osmolar substances of the body so in the extracellular compartment as i told you sodium which is 142 milliosmol per liter and the second one it is the chloride ion which is 108 milliosmol per liter in the extra cellular fluid so both these are in a higher amount in the extra cellular fluid now we will speak about the intra cellular fluid it is potassium ion which is around 140 milliosmol per liter and it is the highest ion which is present in the intra cellular fluid compartment but here if we speak about the osmolarity osmolarity of the extra cellular plasma to that of the intracellular fluid is both are almost equal fluid homeostasis and what is homeostasis it is the maintenance of internal environment of the body or the cell to a constant level so that is the homeostasis and there is a continuous exchange of fluid between plasma interstitial fluid and intracellular fluid these both are the extracellular fluid and this is the intracellular fluid the plasma and isf having the comparable composition due to high permeability of the endothelium where the in the intracellular fluid there is a selectively permeable cell membrane is there so specific composition selective permeability of membrane active transport mechanism is working uh, over the selectively permeable cell membrane so the composition of the icf is much different than that of the plasma and isf or simply interstitial fluid so here it is the plasma which is running inside the blood capillaries 
here it is the interstitial fluid and this is the cell so inside the cell there is a intracellular fluid all right body fluids uh, now which are the functions of body fluids it facilitate the transport for example nutrient transport hormones proteins and others aid in removal of cellular metabolic waste so it is helps in the removal of the metabolic waste products from the one part of the body to another part or to the removal system of the our body for example to the towards the kidney provide medium for cellular metabolism regulate body temperature provide lubrication of musculoskeletal joints component in all body cavities and it is include the parietal cavities pleural cavities etc water is the principal body fluid and essential for life now body fluid gain and loss git is not only the fluid loss system but it is also the fluid gain system kidney it is the fluid loss or fluid preservation system lungs in both direction from the lungs there is a either fluid gain or fluid loss and from the skin absolute loss of the body fluid so this is the intracellular fluid compartment where there is a presence of intracellular fluid around 28 liters interstitial fluid which is around 11 liters and a plasma which is around 3 liters so whatever the fluid gain or loss occurs via the plasma so there is a no much difference occurring in the intracellular fluid or the interstitial fluid at a normal level but if in some type of disease condition there must be some defect in the flu body fluid gain or loss system body fluids factors that dictate body water requirements first amount needed to give the proper osmotic concentration and second one amount needed to replace water lost by excretion and others so these are the factors which dictate body water requirements which requirements of the body towards the water or for the water which is amount needed to give the proper osmotic concentration if there is a disturbances in the osmotic concentration or maintenance of osmotic concentration there will be either increase or decrease in the demand of the water and it is also the excretion water lost by excretion or water lost by evaporation from the skin it determines or dictate the body water requirements normal route of water gain and loss fluid intake 1100 ml per day food from the food the intake of the fluid is around 1000 ml per day metabolic water which is around 200 ml per day and it is uh, produced during the metabolic processes inside our body so total intake of the body water is 2300 ml now if we speak about the output insensible loss is around 700 ml per day from the sweat around 100 ml per day feces in the feces there will be the 100 ml per day and in the urine 1400 ml per day if we total these all this output then total will be 2300 ml output fluid shifts in organs and system factors that capable of causing large fluid shifts in vivo water ingestion that is also the one of the important factor which causing or which causes the large fluid which is shipped into different compartment dehydration intravenous infusion of various solutions loss of abnormal amount of fluid from gi tract in conditions of diarrhea excessive sweating if there is a atmospheric or environmental high temperature is present and uh, from the kidneys due to kidney damage or whatever thing is there so these are the factors that capable of causing large fluid shift in the vivo fluid volume disturbances fluid volume deficit this condition is known as hypovolemia and uh, important cause is it is the dehydration condition excessive loss of body water from the body 
and occurs more rapidly when coupled with decreased fluid intake and whenever uh, the condition of dehydration is present and if it coupled with the decrease in the body water intake then the condition will be more severe so how will you find out whether the dehydration is present in someone or not skin with decreased turgor remains elevated after being pulled up and released so if you find this type of uh, skin fold after it is being pulled and reeled or released then there will be the presence of dehydration or the hypovolemic condition normally what will happen just try to do it try to elevate the fold of your skin and just release normally what will happen in a fraction of a second there is a the skin will become normal but if there is a condition of hypovolemia then there is a fold is present or the skin fold is present even after it is being pulled up and released all right fluid volume deficit causes severe diarrhea vomiting or sweating excessive urinary output and it is due to the di diuretics or a disease clinical manifestations acute weight loss dryness of mouth increased thirst decreased urinary output leg cramps fall in cardiac output or blood pressure or both many vital systems are affected if there is a fluid volume is deficit coma and death if there is a much severe type of fluid volume deficit then it will also leads to coma and death fluid volume deficit mild when we say there is a mild fluid fluid volume is deficit loss is about 2 to 5 percentage of the body weight when the loss is about 5 to 10 percentage of body weight so there will be the moderate fluid volume deficit when the loss is about 10 percentage or more of the body weight then we can consider this as a severe fluid volume deficit what will be the treatment the treatment will be the fluid supplements oral or intravenous and uh, stop fluid loss either due to some type of uh, cure treatment will be given to the diarrhea patient or the vomiting patient fluid volume disturbances fluid volume excess it is known as hypervolemia and uh, in the conditions of hypervolemia there is a presence of edema what do you mean by edema it is the accumulation of excess fluid in interstitial spaces edema may be pitting edema or non pitting edema so when you press the swelled part of the body and uh, once you released your finger from the body then if you find this the area is still just looks like a depressed then it is the pitting edema and if the area will become normal or it it will become mm, flat then it is the non pitting edema uh, there will be the generalized edema or the local edema generalized whole body edema and local means either one limb or both the limb upper limb or both the lower limbs are edematous now the imbalance of sodium normal range of sodium is 135 to 145 milli equilibrium per liter hyponatremia when the sodium level is less than 135 milli equilibrium per liter it may be caused by vomiting diarrhea sweating and diuretics hypernatremia when the sodium level is greater than 145 milli equilibrium per liter the condition is known as hypernatremia and it can be caused by a gain of sodium in excess of water or by loss of water in excess of sodium so this both the condition are known as imbalance of sodium normal range is around 135 to 145 milli equilibrium per liter if the sodium level is below the normal the condition is known as hyponatremia and if the sodium level is above the normal the condition is known as hypernatremia imbalance of potassium normal range is 3.5 to 5.5 milli equilibrium per liter and uh, when the serum potassium level is below 3.5 milli equilibrium per liter the condition is known as hypokalemia and which are the causes of hypokalemia diarrhea diuretics and poor potassium intake 
सो दीज आर द कॉजेज ऑफ हाइपोकेलेमिया नाउ हाइपर कैलेमिया वेन द सीरम पोटेशियम इज ग्रेटर देन फाइव पॉइंट फाइव मिली इक्वली ब्रियम पर लीटर द कंडीशन इज नोन एज हाइपर कैलेमिया एंड मोडरेट डेंजरस देन हाइपो कैलेमिया बिकॉज कार्डिया कैरेस्ट इज कॉमन विथ हाई सीरम पोटेशियम लेवल सो नॉर्मल रेंज ऑफ द पोटेशियम इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव टू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव मिली इक्वली ब्रियम पर लीटर एंड इफ देर इज अ डिक्रीज द सीरम पोटेशियम लेवल बिलो थ्री पॉइंट फाइव मिली इक्वली ब्रियम पर लीटर द कंडीशन इज नोन एज हाइपो कैलेमिया एंड वेन द सीरम पोटेशियम लेवल इज मोर देन फाइव पॉइंट फाइव मिली इक्वली ब्रियम पर लीटर देन द कंडीशन इज नोन एज हाइपर कैलेमिया मेजरमेंट ऑफ बॉडी फ्लूड कंपार्टमेंट्स विच इज द मेथड फॉर द मेजरमेंट ऑफ बॉडी फ्लूड कंपार्टमेंट इट इज द इंडिकेटर डायल्यूशन मेथड and measurement of total body water how we are going to measure the total body water inside our body so these are the markers of the total body water radioactive water which includes the deuterium oxide or d2o and tritium oxide these are the markers of the radioactive water markers antipyrin and it can be calculated by concentration in the plasma so these are the total body water measurement methods measurement of different compartments measurement of ecf extracellular fluid compartment and uh, via the radioactive substances which cannot enter the cell so we can measure the extracellular fluid compartment which includes the plasma and uh, interstitial fluid compartment sodium bromide 92 br minus chloride 36 cl minus 38 cl minus we are using and these are the radioactive substances thiosulfates inulin which is the most accurate method for the measurement of extracellular fluid compartment volume mannitol and sucrose we are going to use for the measurement of ecf all right so this is the measurement of different compartments and these all are the methods we are using for the measurement of extracellular fluid compartment now measurement of plasma markers which uh, bind strongly with plasma protein but not enter isf means interstitial fluid markers which bind strongly with the plasma proteins but it is not going to enter or cross the blood capillaries and enter into the interstitial fluid compartment so these are the radioactive iodine i131 evans blue dye t1824 so these are the markers which measures the plasma from this total body water measurement measurement of ecf measurement of plasma we are going to measure the intracellular fluid volumes interstitial fluid volumes via just simple calculations all right okay so this is all about the body fluid compartments uh, and uh, body fluid distributed mainly in two compartments intracellular fluid compartment and extracellular fluid compartment extracellular fluid compartments uh, includes the plasma and uh, interstitial fluid plasma it is the fluid which is running inside the blood vessels or blood capillaries and uh, interstitial fluid this is the fluid which is present in between the cells so this plasma and interstitial fluid collectively forms the extracellular fluid compartment where the fluid which is actually present inside the cell it forms the intracellular fluid compartment If you like this presentation of body fluid compartment then please try to share with your groups